वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन प्लीज लिजन टू दिस केयरफुली एक्सट्रीमली गुड क्वेश्चन एंड लेट मी टेल यू दिस इज यूर ओरिजिनल कैट एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन बट विद चेंज इन न्यूमरिकल वैल्यूज एनी स्टूडेंट हु इज प्रिपेरिंग फॉर कैट एग्जामिनेशन you will see this question in your examination paper in your previous examination paper but the numbers which were given in that paper was different that the only difference right but there is no there is no change in the way what we solve it listen carefully sir a beautiful question first we will start with some very good questions slowly slowly we will increase the level of difficulty now listen carefully sir your question is one year payment to the servant is rupees 200 plus one shirt that means suppose for example assume that i am that servant let me call myself as a servant that means there is a boss for me there is one of the boss for me i am working in his company or maybe i am working in his house or whatever it is assume that i am a servant one year payment to the servant is rupees 200 plus one shirt that means if i work for one year that means if i work for 12 months if i work for 12 months i will get payment of 200 rupees and i will also get one shirt i will get a payment of 200 rupees and i will also get one shirt if i work for one year which is nothing but 12 months read the next statement the servant leaves after 9 months and receives 120 rupees and a shirt i actually was supposed to work for 12 months which is one year but because of some personal issues i worked only for 9 months right i worked only for 9 months if i work for 9 months how much i received i received 120 rupees from my boss and i also received one shirt i also received a shirt your question is what is the price of the shirt my boss gave me a shirt right sir what is the price of that shirt in the question now listen carefully sir everyone please listen carefully don't use any variables or equations and solve simultaneous equations all those things and waste your time common sense logical way of solving think logically if i work for 12 months i would have got 200 rupees i would have also got one shirt but i worked only for 9 months i worked only for 9 months that means i got 120 rupees and a shirt because i worked only for 9 months that means can i say that for 9 months i got 120 rupees and a shirt if i had worked for 3 more months extra that means if i had worked for 12 months from 9 months if i had worked for 3 more months extra for extra 3 months if i had worked what i would have got i would have got another 80 rupees extra 120 would have become 200 shirt anyway i am getting in both the cases that means if i had worked for 3 more months i would have got 80 rupees extra that means can i say that for 3 months for 3 months my salary is 80 rupees my salary for 3 months is 80 rupees if it is 80 rupees for 3 months for 12 months how many rupees 3 into 4 is 12 80 into 4 is 320 rupees that means can i say like this sir everyone please think little logically if i had worked for 12 months i would have got 320 rupees if i had worked for 12 months i would have got 320 rupees if i want only in money can transactions but my boss does not like to give only money what my boss gave is he gave 200 rupees money and he also gave one shirt i like only money if i work 12 months i like only money i would have got 320 but my boss said no 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 i will give you 200 rupees and i will also give you one shirt that means instead of giving 320 rupees he gave 200 rupees for another 120 rupees he gave one shirt that means what is the price of the shirt price of the shirt is 120 This is a five-second question. Why I explained you in two minutes? Because I want to enter into the minds of each and every two hundred and seventy plus students who are watching, and I should make sure that everyone is understanding. My explanation I will tell very slowly, but that does not mean that you should take that much of time in the examination to solve. Definitely not. 
my students who are listening to the classes from so many months and who are watching all our video content in our online course will definitely go to a greater height especially in solving an aptitude case let looking into a problem you will solve this question in 5 seconds sir you just need to listen to all our classes and we will take you to the next level altogether everyone please listen carefully sir everyone please listen carefully what is that we are teaching you here suppose for example it will clear everyone's doubt at one shot everyone please listen carefully in our school days we studied this concept if one pen costs if one pen cost 5 rupees then what is the cost of seven pens if one pen cost 5 rupees then what is the cost of seven pens now please listen carefully if one pen cost 5 rupees what is the cost of seven pens how we were solving in school days let the cost of seven pens be x and then we were cross multiplying that is the method what we were implementing in our school days but what we are implementing right now is 1 is becoming 7 1 is becoming 7 multiply by 7 5 also multiply by 7 5 into 7 what should be the answer answer should be 35 or another way of doing is another way of doing is 1 is becoming 5 multiply by 5 7 also multiply by 5 7 into 5 is 35 you asked me a question sir what if there is no multiplying factor cross multiply simple right i am teaching you the basic mathematics what we studied in school days but the way we are learning right now is slightly different because i always believe that as you proceed with your age your mindset should grow your skill set also should grow and please underline this statement only when you update your skill set you will also update your salary